How's it going, readers? I am your wizard, Professor Brown, and today I've got the book we've all been waiting for, the highly anticipated sequel to Never Show a T-Rex a Book. This time, we've got Never Ever Teach a Stegosaurus to Do Some. Readers, why do you think we should never teach a Stegosaurus their sums? Let's find out. Never teach a stegosaurus to do sums. Never teach a stegosaurus to do sums. Because if you do, there's no end to what she might do with all those numbers. Like adding them up, taking them away, and a few other sneaky tricks too. And if she masters all those, she'll be having so much fun that she won't want to stop. Just you wait until she figures out how she can use all those numbers and sums to crack codes. Bake things. Build things. And make things do stuff. Who knew numbers could do all this? Did you? And once she figures that out, what do you think she'll set her sights on next? Ah, yes. To want to make herself a rocket and go to the moon, Mars, and beyond. Obviously. Of course, she won't be able to do it alone. So while she's in the mood for all that making and coding, she's built a few helpers first. Like these ones right here. That's better. And with their help, and a bit of tugging and tapping and tinkering, it will finally be ready. Then she'll be off. T minus five, four, three, two, one, and nothing. <laughs> Oops. Uh, that's okay. If at first she does not succeed, she will try again. And again, and again, until she finally cracks it. T minus five, four, three, two, one, and she's off. She makes it into space. She's bound to make some out of this world friends while she's up there. She might even find they've got lots in common. Because maybe, just maybe, aliens love numbers and robots too. But she can't stay there forever. And at some point, she'll have to go back home. So there will be some very teary goodbyes. And if she comes back from outer space, She'll definitely bring some bright ideas with her. But if she makes those robots, and if those robots make more robots, oh my, and those robots make even more robots, well, then they'll be everywhere. And things might just get a teensy bit out of control. Mm. And if that happens, we're really going to need Steggy to pull something out of the bag because, hang on, what's that, Steggy? You're absolutely right. That's why you always make an off button. <laughs> And if Steggy presses the off button, hey, who turned off the lights? Thank you. 
And if Steggy presses that off button and manages to sort out all the mess, what do you suppose she'll want to do next? You know what? It has been a long day. So she'll probably want to snuggle up and count the stars in the night sky. 99, 100, 100. Besides, it's always a good idea to save a bit of fun for tomorrow. The end. Well, readers, I hope you enjoyed this book. Never teach a stegosaurus their sums, because as you can see, there is some great power in knowing your sums. Did you guys also find the hidden pictures of never show a T-Rex a book? You might have to go back and see if you can find them. If you guys enjoyed that book, please leave a like to let me know. And as always, feel free to subscribe and join the fellowship of the readers. That way you never miss another adventure. I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a wonderful day.